Hi, welcome. I'm Frank, one part of the Pixel Coalition WeChat team. So today I will show you something very special and you see here Resolum Arena. And what I will show you today is how to play absolutely anything you want in Resolum. Okay, first you have to go to the web page over here you see Sigma 6 in Switzerland so you have to download Siphona app because it's for free so get your copy so fast so you can <clears throat> okay after you download it you have to install it uh, on your Mac and after that you have to get VLC Media Player. Okay, now we close first our browser. So you see, and everybody know this nifty thing can absolutely play anything. Uh, DVD, Blu-ray, MP3, MKVs, MP4s, so on, so on, so on. And you see, it's a very funny thing. Okay, but we start first, we go in your Wiche software, we use here Resolum, uh, go to the sources and you have to see the siphon part over here. If it's not visible, you have to go to the output and activate it over here or in the settings but I think you will know it. Okay, so when you open the siphon, you'll see now here, you get a siphon source. So we go to our siphon. Yes. So you'll see now here, I open this too. In siphon, you can select almost everything on your computer. So now you see over here, it's a VLC media player. So I take this one. And the best way is to cut and crop some parts. Over here, uh, 25 pixels and over here, uh, 50 pixels. So press enter. And if you want, you can go to lock mode. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you see over here, Siphona VLC. And when you activate it in your Resolume, you see, okay, when I zoom in, I scale it. Yeah, okay. I hope you get the idea, but the funky part come now. So, open the VLC, for example, command and N is open the network and we start over here with the RTSP stream live from the internet. So we call this one, click enter to open. Maybe you hear some sound but I have to kill it because some copyrights. Okay, now you see over here, there's our little funky movie. But the stream is not very good, but you see, or oh, you get the idea. Okay, I can stream a RTSP stream. To check it, we go to the output settings, go to advanced and look over here. Okay. Our output, no, sorry, it's much better. And you see, okay, output is almost there. Okay, close it. Uh, now we take another one. We take something from my NAS drive. So copy and see. Um, command N, clean it out, copy. 
paste it. No, continue. <clears throat> So I'm now using the Wi-Fi connection, but it's much better when you take the uh, wired version, so network. And you see over here when I'm Reducing the window, you see the resolution on Siphoner will drop. Okay, now we go back to the start. Now it's much better. You see over here the frame rate. You can limit the frame rate. You get sound. Kill it again. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And you see over here our video. So maybe we go over in. So the resolution of your siphon stream is depending on your machine. You see over here when I stop it, we get now 41 frames. Okay, so first. RTSP stream, the next one from a NAS server is an MQV file. Yes, okay. Next part, we go to uh, maybe, yeah, okay. Come on, sync. <coughs> Come on, and convey. Come on. We paste it and now you see some funky shit over here. You see now here that a bit of a delay, a small um, IP camera. And for this I'm using an app on an Android phone, but it works with normal IP cameras too. So, okay. And you see here the best size for this may be this okay and you see you can zoom it check the output in resolution maybe half so you get no black stripes okay you see a bit delay test it okay one two, three, okay, three seconds is okay. So save and close. So if you now not horny enough, next part is to close PLC. And you see over here, it's now empty. We check now, where is our browser? Over there. Okay, you see here, our browser, our Chrome browser, you see the resolution. <coughs> okay, uh, we go to the lock mode. I take now the Chrome. So when you change the app, which Siphona stream, you have to do it also in Resolution. So we pump it up. Okay, so, oh, sorry, no, no, it's okay. So you see over here our uh, new channel on YouTube. It's all about VJ ideas, stuff, and some tutorials in the future about this. Or you see here some funky experiments with mappings and so on. And you see we can use it to Warum sich Vegetarier und
Oh, sorry. Warum sich Vegetarier get some sports but it's normal we have to finance this channel yeah. you see you got the ID I hope so <laughs> I hope you can now go very horny to bed or freak out so don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube our channel called pixel Kulisse and down in the description you will find all links to the software you need. So I see you next time and bye bye.